Welcome YouTube, this is KK606, and welcome to my computer enthusiast gaming channel. And today is the final day that I got my GTS 450 installed. Now I'm running an A5050 still with A450, which is an up-to-date DX11 card. Now for my previous generation, 9800 GT is actually a DX9 and DX10 card. And I know some of you viewers out there are asking or wondering why the upgrade. Well, let's start off with one. Using my 9800 was a good choice and I got some really good frame rates. But, and logical standpoint, I was bottlenecking because it was an older generation card. So I figured maybe I would just upgrade it to something like a 4000 series car or 5000 series. Since it's DX11 and most games now are running DX11, you probably want to actually keep up with par with the technology itself. So that's why I got the GTS 450. I did see very much improvement in my frame rates. Doing Metro, Battlefield 3, even with 3D Mark 11 Vantage, I scored uh, 250 points more for my previous. So my score now is 5,261. But my previous score was about 5,000 or a little bit under about 4,996. So that was a big improvement there. Overall, I would like to say that I would have appreciated if P and Y would stop using this blue cut coil color BCB PCB because I would have prefer a black. To be honest, just to go with the the, the terrier style of the 450 because it's kind of turning me off. Honestly, it's just it's not very pretty looking at all. Uh, I know black PCBs are very expensive on the on size and the blues are actually cheaper for some reason and um, I'm not sure if I can verify that uh, uh, information that I was provided with but I would definitely prefer a black PCB but the max power for this video card of the 450 is 103 watts now if you overclock it it is limited to how much you can overclock and the max voltage from the video card can go up to only 130 watts so be careful how you overclock this card you might get some artifacts when you overclock it so be wise overall I would like to say that PNY has a very good choice and, and the 450 uh, series and I definitely give it a 4.3 out of the 5 just because the, the PCB is just awful ugly looking and should have been black to be honest well overall I would like to say thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos and I might give you guys another video on the benchmark results so stay tuned for that so thanks for watching. Peace.